Hey guys, so I'm starting out with the eyes for this look and I'm using the Shu Umura, I think that's how you pronounce it, Mario Brothers Eye Primer. So I think this is limited edition and I will have it listed down below in case you guys are interested. Then I just went in with some Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer just to conceal the veins and kind of the unevenness on my eyelids. Then for shadows, I'm starting out with Makeup Geek Mirage on an E60 brush from Sigma and I'm just tapping this all over the eyelids just to set down my base. Then I applied some scotch tape to the outer corners of the eyes and then I'm taking the shade Peach Smoothie which is also from Makeup Geek and I'm using an E40 tapered blending brush just to buff this messily in and above the crease. Then I'm taking the shade Latte which is kind of a mix between a cool and a warm toned brown. It's more cool toned than warm so that's why I used it and I'm just using the same brush just focusing this a little bit more precisely into the crease. Then I'm taking the shade Stealth which is also again from Makeup Geek. I'm not going to keep saying it because all of these are from Makeup Geek and I'm just using an E25 brush from Sigma just to start building this up in the outer corner and then slowly bringing it through the crease. So it takes a little while to build this shade up but it looks beautiful when it, you do. Then I took the shade Galaxy which is actually kind of like a shimmery slate grey colour and I just used the same brush, packed it on the outer corner and blended it out. Then I'm taking the shade Corrupt which is a matte black and I'm starting to build this up in the outer corner. Kind of covers the greyish tones so we do go back in with those and kind of build it up but I wanted it to be a little bit more dark in the outer corner. Then I just took my E40 brush once again and blended the edges out. And then I'm taking the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Liberty, which is this beautiful foiled silver shade, and I used my finger to apply it to my lids. Then just going back in with the E25 brush and no additional product, I made sure that the black blended nicely into the silver. Then for the glitter, I'm first using the LA Splash Till Midnight Elixir uh, Primer. So I'm just applying that it kind of acts like a glitter glue and then I'm using this Mecca Max glitter I forget what the shade is called but it will be listed down below and I'm just patting this all over the lids then just going back in with the E25 super gently and making sure everything was blended and then I swapped to an E36 and just added a little more black into the crease above where the glitter was and then once again taking my E40 and making sure we blend till our arms fall off. And then I'm taking Mirage and just highlighting my brow bone with that. Then I just removed the tape and applied some black coal liner into my tight line. So I just, yeah, messily lined that. Then with a makeup wipe I just wiped away any excess fallout which there was quite a bit. And then I applied a coat of the L'Oreal Baby Roll Mascara, which as you guys know, it's been one of my favorites. And then the lashes I used, I literally can't remember, but I will have them listed down below. Then moving on to the face, I'm priming using the Fenty Beauty Primer. I love this primer so much. It's one of my all time favorites now. And then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation and I'm applying that to my skin using a Sigma 4D HD Kabuki brush. So I'm just buffing this in and I did apply another coat to the center of my face just on my cheeks kind of thing and blended it out because I wanted it to be nice and full coverage because it was such a heavy eye look. Then to conceal and taking the Naked Skin Concealer again from Urban Decay, I'm in the shade Light Warm and I'm just highlighting and concealing with this basically. And I am blending it all out using one of my favorite concealer brushes, which is a F79 from Sigma. Then to set all of that concealer in place, I'm using the Benefit Hello Flawless Powder in Ivory. And I'm just using an F35 tapered highlight brush and setting all of the center of my face. 
Then I'm taking the Shuamura and Mario Brothers blush. I will have the shade name listed down below. It's a cushion blush, so it's like a cream kind of thing. It's really cool actually, and I just applied it using the little sponge and blended the edges with my foundation brush. Then for contouring, I took my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Kit and used the Dark Cocoa, I think is what it's called. And I just used an F23, which is one of my favorite contour brushes. And I just pretty much contoured the outer perimeter of my face. Then I used this incredible highlight from MAC. It's their limited edition Whisper of Guilt highlight. And I used the little MAC fan brush that came with it. And oh my god, I'm obsessed with this highlight. It's so beautiful. It's sold out, so I'm really sorry, but if you do see it in store, then seriously, go and buy it. Moving back onto the eyes, I'm taking Stealth again on an E25 and buffing that under the eyes and doing the same with the shade Galaxy. Then switching over to Corrupt on an E20 little smudgy kind of brush. I'm uh, I'm tongue-tied. I'm smudging that into my lower lash line and then taking the shade Liberty from Colourpop. I'm just applying that to the inner portion of the lower lash line and the inner corners. Then I took this silver coal liner from Savvy. It's an Australian brand, but you can just use any silver liner that you have. And then I decided to apply some more of the glitter underneath the eyes. So I just did the same thing, applied some of the glitter glue and then applied a little bit of glitter on the lower lash line and then finished it off with some lower lash mascara. Then to finish off the look, I took the Kat Von D lip liner in Lolita and completely outlined my lips and then I filled them in using the Tarte Color Splash lipstick in the shade Salt Life which is incredibly so beautiful. I love this shade. And that completed the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you in my next video. That is the prettiest glitter I've ever put on my eyelids.